only chance. Chance at breakfast? Yeah, but not us three. Okay, let's go and get some breakfast then. Yay, but where from? Aha! Dad, is it McDonald's? We might do. So it's Wednesday, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday. I'm not sure what day it is. It's Wednesday. I think it's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. I'm sure it's Tuesday. Where's my phone, Dad? My phone's dead. Charge Yay. Here. Well, that's going to make life hard today. So it's Wednesday or Tuesday. Wednesday. None of us know which. I do. And the two videos missing from the vlog because I didn't get one up Sunday, didn't get one up Monday. Uh, so whatever day. <laughs> but yesterday was a write-off. Accounts, paperwork. Got nothing done in the brewery apart from a little bit of cleaning. Uh, I did pick the camera up once or twice but the footage wasn't worth it. And then Sunday was a bit of a recovery day. We had a Sunday lunch and I filmed that but again it was sort of nothing to write home about. So we'll see if we can piece together some type of a vlog today. I don't know what we're going to do though. Not the clue. First we're getting breakfast. First we're getting breakfast. Bye. One double Hello. sausage, no, just on its own, mate. All this. Sorry? No sauces, mate, no. Um, a double sausage and egg, McMuffin. And six. You're right. Hey, look. Yeah, no props. Bacon, no brown sauce. Bacon, no brown sauce. Yeah. Hash browns. I don't want my hash browns. Right. That's the kids fed, dropped off at my old queen's house. And uh, yeah, disappointingly, I've come in and there's lots more admin to do. One or two of you may have noticed that I've actually set up a website and the uh, the host that I'm with turns out are wankers, so uh, I have to pay something like £146 a year for more than one email account, which I know is absolute bullshit. So I would like to get this website up uh, over the next couple of weeks, particularly before we get the keys for next door, even if it's just a one-page, front-page thing saying, welcome along, this is who we are. Uh, I just want to get it sorted so I can give Gemma and Stuart an email account under the Harrison's Brewery heading, which I'm not paying hundred not pound a year for a bloody email address. What a rip-off. So I'm going to just get my wallet out of the car so I can pay for a new hosting package. Um, I forgot what they're called, but I'll let you know later on in the uh, video. And uh, we're going to go across to them. They're about 8 95 a month. Unlimited traffic and all that stuff. I'm sure someone's going to tell me that there's a better deal out there, but look, I want. I'm getting it done. So, <laughs> you've missed the boat if you come in with a uh, bit of information after the event. Bit pointless, unless somebody else is reading it in the comments and it helps them. Then you can leave a comment. Anyway, get the wallet. Let's crack on with it. Right, let's get up there and get this sorted out. Uh, I'm no stranger to uh, setting up websites. I've helped Tom do one for his sister. I set up all the IVB website, which uh, ran quite happily. You know the Arden Valley Brewing dot com, where we are, where it all began actually. I set the shop up on there and a website with like a bit of a blog, and obviously all that's gone now. But at the time, it was uh, quite a good piece of kit. So it's just about devoting a little bit of time to it and making sure that uh, that it looks good from the off. I don't want to have to revisit this. Oh, and the one I'm looking at is SiteGround. Any good? I don't know. Nah. <laughs>
Okay, I've managed to transfer across the website, it would appear. But this computer is draining the creativity out of me. I did have the elements out yesterday, I didn't manage to get that on film. So all of these have been scrubbed on the inside as well. I don't think I filmed it anyway. Uh, I need to just... I need to just double check the brew pumps. Make sure there's nothing in the mash pump, so I'll disassemble that one in a moment. And then we will find another job. the pump uh, inspected it was crystal clear inside really pleased with that just shows you what a quick rinse with the hose pipe does I mean they don't take much cleaning out at all those brew pump 3000s are pretty good pieces of kit so I want to just uh, touch upon something before we move on to the next project I bought the Titan shop vac from tool station or screw fix probably screw fix if it's Titan and it came with this what I can only describe as close to useless uh, floor vacuum attachment. It is a piece of key wrap. So I went on eBay yesterday, day before, maybe Friday, can't remember, anyway, don't matter. And I picked up this brand new pipe. So it's a two meter long piece of hose with a nozzle attachment on the end and the piece de resistance is for £12 it comes with this metal pretty big as well metal uh, vacuum pipe with a bristled head you cannot make it for £12 there were also some other attachments as well and obviously it fits onto there nicely but uh, one place it didn't fit was on the vac itself. So I had to take off the connector from the old pipe, which was uh, not as good quality as this £12 one, I might add. Uh, unfortunately, it just slid straight on. And it seems to be a nice airtight connection. So we've literally upgraded the shop vac. The reason I wanted to do that as well is because with that plastic one, every time we're pushing it around on the floor and then I grabbed hold of the unit to move it, I'd get an electric shock from the static created by brushing that nylon, nylon plastic hoover attachment across the painted floor. And sometimes these shocks were quite nasty. So yeah, this is the old attachment. And uh, what I've actually done is put the old pipe onto it Onto, or should I say the new attachment that came with the new piece of hoover and this fortunately through uh, more luck than judgment actually fits in to the pipe on my vac system giving me yet another hoover pipe which of course I can use to clean up in the shop when I'm doing something with the chop saw, the band saw, whatever else so uh, Speaking of being in the shop, we don't have the keys for next door yet. I'm not quite sure what the delay is, but there seems to be one. So what I'm going to do is spend the rest of today not smacking my head against the computer screen. Fucking hate it. But instead, we're going to tidy this shop up. It's in need of a bit of a scrub. And we are going to start to take down... I've got three shelves. I've got three shelves out there just through the door. The other side of the door we're gonna it's just basically holding crap that should really be in here um, and that area I think would make a nice grain store with all those buckets that I bought so my plan is bring all them in here make sure we've got somewhere for all those tools to live because I like things to have its place and then we're gonna build some shelving for our specialty grains and specialty malts space the final front in. <laughs> so we've cleared the shelves out. Three shelves, that's all that was there. Surprising how much room that's freed up. 
So what I'm going to do is paint this back wall along here, probably white. And also, while I'm under here, you'll notice that you can see the floorboards for the office above. But unfortunately, all the nails are still in the joists. So yeah, that's kind of something that we're just going to have to address. So if I'm going to sweep up and clean this whole area, well it makes sense really for me to uh, get up and clear the joists as well. I was going to paint all these joists black, just to give it a bit of definition. I really don't know what to do with it. The place is, it's a barn. It frankly is a barn down here. We've got a room, a back room behind the office that we've used to store all bits and bobs that we don't really need. And there is some fabric, roofing felt, if you like, on the inside of the tiles. And whoever had this place before, they had a wood shop in here and it seems that that's where their dust extraction was uh, in this area, located down here. And behind all of that sheeting is dust, dust, dust. And over the past few weeks, as everything's begun to dry out, we've had a couple of occasions where the sheeting's come down and brought all of that dust with it. So that's going to be another job in the future. And I did notice that some of the roofing joists behind it were rotten. I mean, probably need replacing. But uh, I've done enough in this building, quite frankly. I'm not going to do any more. I've put windows in. I've took all this floor up and replaced all that. And I've had no recompense for it. So... Uh, Tough shit, I'm not doing any more. I'm just going to paint the place and uh, just highlight any issues that need doing. I want it to be safe, of course, but I've got other projects to concentrate on, as we know. This being one of them, so we'll tidy this up. I can see this being fun, pulling all of these nails out. Because, of course, this was all lath and plaster, you see. So that's how they hold all the uh, slats up. All that lot. And basically I've got to pull all of those bastards out, wrestle with these nails up here, maybe fill in the gaps that you can see up and around here. I'm not too bothered about them if I'm honest, I'll probably just fill them in with foam. And then we'll paint over the top and paint this whole wall white. And then at least it'll be sort of, uh, it'll look cleaner if it's painted white I think. I mean I do like, Having the brick wall exposed inside the building. I'm a big fan of brick walls. But you can see where I've had to repair this section. And, uh, well, do not exactly tie in, does it? So, let's get the old uh, hammer and nail bar out and we'll sort this out. Oh, yeah. This ain't going to be a two minute job, is it? You know, it can be sometimes difficult to maintain enthusiasm on the vlog when you're faced with projects like this and I'm waiting for other things to start and get kicked off. But uh, fear not, folks. I'm going nowhere. We just occasionally have black dog days, don't we? Just to keep yourself busy and carry on. Now, should I hammer these, pull these out or hammer them in? Oh, they all snapped. That might be easier. That's the big fucker though. <laughs> Yay! As you can see, I've been painting like a crazy pirate the man. And uh, I'm covered in it, of course. It's only natural. So what we have to do is just finish this section off here. And then I'm going to run across, move everything this way. And then we'll run across and do that side. And just get all this section done. And I think what I might do as well is paint the bottom of these floorboards white. And then the beams black. And I think it'll just make it ping. Ping out a little bit. I also uh, went upstairs during my lunch break, if you can call it that. Pot of pasta. And... Uh, Played around, played around a little bit more with the website. I think I've got it transferred now, but time will tell, qua qua qua. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still directing me to the old 
website or cached version. No idea, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on painting until Gemma turns up, and then we'll fire ourselves to the house. Or oh, actually, via the old queens to pick the kids up, of course. And then home to edit a vlog for you guys, because I know you've been missing out. Well, I've done well to say I didn't know what I was gonna do. It's quarter to bloody eight. Every time the chiller kicks on, just as I'm about to shoot some vid, so I'm just cleaning my paintbrush, we've got all that corner done. And, uh, well, that's it, I'm gonna wrap it up today, folks, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow with some shelf manufacturing. I think that will be more than an interesting view. I know it's not brewing, but we're creating stuff. That's what I like to do. We'll see you tomorrow.